Hello. Today I'm talking about the mind. So this is episode 19 of my mind, body, spirit video series. And today specifically I'm talking about past life regression hypnotherapy and your conscious and subconscious mind and how it works. So I've been a past life regression hypnotherapist since 2015. I took my training with Chris Lee, who created a very specific method of past life regression hypnotherapy. I'll be talking about that as well. So Chris Lee found, he became a clinical hypnotherapist and he found that many of his clients were going to past lives to release the concerns that they had come in with to work on. And so he went from just regular hypnotherapy into past life regression hypnotherapy and he went he found that his clients went from like having about you know 30 percent success rate to about 95 so it was uh you know i mean who wouldn't go to the one that the, the method that's more successful i had a hypnotherapy session just because i was curious so i had one prior to seeing chris and it didn't work and then I had a session with Chris Lee when he came to Spruce Grove and I was just curious. I didn't know that it could actually help me. So I had uh, made a list of things to release and I had right pain in my hip and it was quite excruciating. It actually started when I had wiped out on a bump run on ski hill and I had problems with that ever since. It's like it opened up that doorway. So when I went to the life that caused that concern, I saw that I had a life in the late 1800s in Spain, and I had been a healer in that life, and I had been lined up to be drawn and quartered. So being drawn and quartered means that you um, are, your body is pulled apart. So they tied, you know, one wrist to one horse, this one to another horse, and then my ankles to two other horses. So they hit the horses on the bumps to make them go all those four directions and it virtually pulled my body apart. It was interesting that the leg, the one that I had problems with, the right one, had been pulled off by this horse and I, all I could remember was seeing this big white rump of his. But I recognized the energy of that horse and it's actually the horse I own right now. So it was interesting because his energy was different after that session when I went to see him in the pasture he just walked away from me and that happened for two days and I said oh I said to mentally right telepathy I said uh, oh don't worry that was a different lifetime like it's not the same anymore so you're just you're just my saddle horse you're just my acreage pony right so he and I have had quite a few lives together and that's caused a lot of the issues that we've had throughout the relationship that we have now. He hasn't been the easiest horse to work with. But I found out a lot in terms of why he behaves the way he does and it has a lot to do with me. So if you have issues with a person or a pet or something like that, chances are you've had past lives with them where you didn't do what you're supposed to do or you may have not been a very nice person and so it's come back to kind of make you aware that there's something to work on. So past life regression hypnotherapy is really interesting because it helps you understand, helps you see yourself in a different way, right? We've had many, most of us have had many lives and we can see where the concerns come from. So your it works by your, so your conscious mind is your, um, processor it just works with you throughout the day and at night when you sleep it downloads goes conscious mind comes down downloads into the subconscious that's down here nice and slow the thing about conscious and subconscious mind is that conscious mind is 10 percent of who you are it's 10 percent of what you do and who you are so that's a very small portion Subconscious mind is 90% of who you are. So it's the good, the bad, and the ugly. So it's the good part of you that you've kept throughout your lives. And usually, you know, your personality is consistent throughout many of your lives. And all the lives that you didn't learn your lessons, that's why you have concerns in this life. So every life you have, you learn, you're meant to learn a lesson. And at, by the end of your life, if you don't learn your lesson, 
you bring that concern into this the next life that you have so if you had you know say 15 lives where you didn't do what you're supposed to do you bring them all into the next life and they keep on like tagging on and tagging on and tagging on so some of you who have you know a lot of concerns like issues that you'd like to release you can actually release them in a hypnotherapy session sometimes it takes more than one because it depends like sometimes you release something and then something else comes up and then you can work on releasing that the nice thing about a past life regression hypnotherapy session is that once you release that concern, it's done and over with. And you don't have to do the work to release the lesson because you did it in a regression hypnotherapy session. You saw the life that caused that concern or you sensed it. And in doing that, you're able to let it go. So how does this work? Well, there's this thing called the unknown noise. And let's say you were sleeping late at night and you were like by yourself and you hear the scary noise outside. So you don't go outside because you don't want to see what it is because you think something bad is going to happen. But in the morning you go outside and you see that the wind had knocked over this metal garbage can and that's what made that loud noise, that crashing noise. So then after you found out what made that noise, it no longer scares you. That applies to the past life regression hypnotherapy session. Say you have a fear of spiders. So maybe one life you had a life where you um, were bit by a spider and it killed you or you were um, in a room and all these spiders ran all over you and freaked you out or whatever. So there's something that was um, that caused that fear and it makes the fear really strong in the current life, you know, so people who have fear of heights they may have had a life where they were either pushed off a cliff or they fell off a building or something like that and they either died or very close they were close to dying and that <clears throat> would cause the concern oh. i might have someone who wants to talk <laughs> they're like we want to talk we want to talk so so usually when I do these talks, you know, I get some guides who kind of want to come through. They said they're spirit guides for the people who are watching. So they're saying, well, past life regression hypnotherapy is useful. It takes a really strong mind to be able to reprogram itself. That's why you're meant to receive help from other people like me, because I have no, um, I have no attachment to the outcome. Whereas the person who's sitting in a chair, they're absolutely attached to the outcome. They want to make sure that they're rid of that problem. But Spirit is saying, your guides are saying that you're meant to work through it. So you can work through it with the assistance of another person. Mm. Oh, they're also saying Spirit loves to come through at night. So the, the time I'm doing this is making this video is in the evening. So there's all kinds of energies around me and they're like patting me on the back saying I'm going to do, doing a good job and they want me to do more videos and they also want to um, explain to you there's two reasons why I have been absent from making videos and being on social media. One, I was going through a tra transformation and when I'm doing that I don't really feel like I want to be making videos. I'm not feeling really strong. If you know what I mean. And two, I had a terrible internet provider. I had to change my internet so that I could uh, go live and actually upload videos faster than before because before it would take a couple hours to upload a video, like seriously, for a 30 minute video and my phone would be tied up or my computer would be tied up for that time so it wasn't very time efficient. So back to past life regression hypnotherapy. I'm going to take these deep breaths because like I'm getting like I feel like my energy is rising because I'm getting the excitement from the energies I'm to channel for and it's um it's it's weird because it kind of it alters my it alters my energy <laughs> they're saying it alters my ego it shrinks it down a little bit and lets them come through so so knowing the unknown noise when you go into hypnotherapy session you'll be able to see what was causing that concern because it's actually seeing or sensing that life that caused that concern that releases you from the grip that it had on you. 
okay? You need to see why you have that fear so it no longer is a fear. So, we, in the very first hypnotherapy session you have with me or someone who's been trained with the Chris Lee method is you look at a confident life. Then you usually go to a life where you um, have an ache or pain or something like that. Like headaches are good. And <clears throat> then you get to go to the soul group. So soul groups are members of your soul family Members of your soul family are in your soul group, right? So it's like a little circle of energies or people. So a lot of people don't understand what soulmates are. So soulmates are members from your soul group. And sometimes we do marry them and we could have good relationships or not so great relationships. But what always happens when you're in a relationship with one of the soul members in your family is you're doing a lot of learning. You're learning how to accept them for who they are, and if they want help from you, you're learning how to help them too, while allowing them to retain their um, who they are and their integrity, and love them for who they are. And for some people, that's a difficult thing because sometimes I'm hearing women think, "Oh, if only they would change, they would be the perfect mate." But perfection is a myth. I hear. They said, not really, but they said, you're perfect in the eyes of God, but we always see ourselves as work in progress. So with soul family members, you when you go up to your soul group, because you actually you go up there, right? And you're seeing the energy that's up there and you're seeing who's in your soul group. And you get to see what state your soul group is in. Sometimes we do karma balancing, so you get to see that. And um, <clears throat> it's always interesting to see who's in your soul group. And I like in the people in the soul group, the members in your soul group, when you're with them, it just feels really good. It feels like uh, there, it feels comfortable, it feels good. So I have like four members in my soul group and they're all, they were, well, two were members of my family and two were spouses. So. I had good relationships with those people and with the first post we just went our separate ways because we wanted different things but the second one was a we had a really good relationship and we were best friends and that's very um, that's what it's like when you have relationships with the people in your soul group right so <clears throat> after you see the soul group we check in to see if you have any stuck lives in a hypnotherapy session with me and that's where you died and you never left. So you sometimes you could die in an auto accident or um, suddenly you were shot or something like that or um, yeah, anything. A lot of times it's sudden. And so you may not know that you're dead because it was so sudden or you didn't want to go into the light because when you, when you, when you, uh, leave your body you'll see this white light and you're meant to go into it right to go to the other side and someone usually crosses you over too but <clears throat> sometimes people don't go into that light and so they get left behind and they're stuck and those are ghosts right so we you just actually go and see yourself when you're we're cleaning up your stuck lives and then you take it to the soul group and then that's nice because then that stuck energy isn't there anymore because it causes issues like feeling of being stuck, anxiety, depression, um, anger. It's usually emotional. Sometimes it can be physical. And then after we deal with stuck lives and we clean them all up so you don't have them anymore, you'll have a sense of... You'll have a sense of, oh, like relief. You won't feel so heavy or stuck anymore after your session. Then we go and check in to see if you have any parallel lives. So parallel lives are where you're in the body you're currently in and others as well. So some people have no parallel lives and some people have a few. We just take to see they're minding their own business because if they're not, we help them mind their own business because they're not allowed to interfere. Because if you have a life over here and you have your current life here, that the, these lives aren't allowed to overlap, okay? They're meant to stay separate. And if they're not, then we help them stay separate so that they, because you'll be learning a lesson in one body and then you could be learning a lesson in another body. It's like you're uh, fast tracking and multitasking, so.
Yeah, I've always been fascinated with parallel lives, and I kind of understood it before, but then when I had a session, I got to see my parallel lives, so I have two of them. And after we work with parallel lives, we check in to see if there are any emotions. I'll leave you back. The answer just comes from your subconscious mind. So all this information is coming from your subconscious mind, right? Because it's stored down there nice and low. Because your subconscious mind has stored every memory of every life you have ever had, whether it's a positive one or a negative one. So when you have a past life regression hypnotherapy session, you can look at lives where you had lots of fun or you had, you know, your most wealthy life, or you could look at the life where you're most successful, or the life where you, whatever you want to see, okay? Your most talented life, your most confident life, your most fun. I did that in a group regression session, and everybody got to see the life where they had the most fun. And then after we clean all that stuff up in the first session, we go to your list of concerns. So a list of concerns is anything like, you know, aches, pains, fears, phobias, um, weight issues, smoking, addictions, anything like that. So there's a lot that you can look at in a past life regression hypnotherapy session because your mind gives you the answer. And sometimes people think, well, I just made it up. Well, actually, you didn't make it up. Your subconscious mind gave you the answers. And it's really rewarding to know that you can heal yourself with the help of another person because your mind will give you the answers to everything you need to know about yourself. So a lot of times we say past lives, but people actually have seen themselves in a future life because everything is happening all at once. So it's like this big continuum and uh, like my screen just flashed. So I had a, a client who went to the year, uh, was I, actually, I think it was in the 20s, like 2000 something. It was over the 20, it was over 2020. And as she was telling me the year, her voice is like, uh, that's in the future. And I said, yeah, well, you know, everything happens all at once. So you may sometimes see a life in the future or a lot of them are past lives but and you could also even see if something happened to you say when you were younger in this life you could actually see that as well so um your mind your subconscious mind will show you exactly when it happened what life it was and you'll also get to know what the lesson was that you were supposed to learn because that's stored in your subconscious mind. So the lesson could be anything like love, forgiveness, uh, acceptance, anything. It's usually just a word or two, but your mind absolutely shows you and tells you what you're meant to know. So if you're not meant to know something, your mind absolutely won't show you. And sometimes your mind likes to shield you from what it thinks is harm. So that's why when you feel like you don't want to do something or you feel like you shouldn't go, it's your mind telling you that it's not safe. And so when you look into your subconscious mind for answers, you can virtually find the answers to absolutely everything you, you've ever wanted to know about yourself. <clears throat> So a past life regression hypnotherapy session is very wonderful because it can help you release problems so that you don't have to uh, like work through them at a slower pace. So past life regression hypnotherapy session, the first one with me, takes 2.5 hours. I just spend some time talking to you, going over your list, and then we actually work on your uh, list of concerns and the things that I mentioned, you know, parallel lives, stuck lives, emotions holding you back. You get to meet your soul group. So you get to see all that or sense it. Not everybody is visual. Oh, yeah, this is what I wanted to do with you guys. So here's a, here's something I want you to do. This is for you to see if you're visual or non-visual. 
everybody is something, not everybody's visual, some people are not visual. So what I would, I'd like you to do is close your eyes. So I want you to imagine, see, or sense, or visualize a lemon. And in your mind's eye, I want you to see yourself taking that lemon and putting it down on the counter. And I want you to cut the lemon in half. And as you cut the lemon, you might smell the lemon. You might uh, start to like salivate. You might start to actually taste the lemon. But I want you to see if you see the lemon in your mind. So if you get a picture in your mind of that lemon, that means you're visual. And if you don't get a picture in your mind, that means you're non-visual. It's important during a hypnotherapy session for me to know if you're visual or non-visual because obviously I can't ask you what are you seeing because you can't see anything if you're non-visual. So therefore, I ask you to do this exercise and if you haven't done it, if you haven't watched this video and you haven't done it, by the time you come to see me, then I'll have you do it when you're sitting in the chair ready for your regression hypnotherapy session. Now the nice thing about every regression hypnotherapy session is that you get to learn a lot about yourself. You get to see who was with you in those other lives and who caused you harm or who actually helped you. But you have to remember when you have a hypnotherapy session and you get to see the people who were with you in those lives and whether they caused you harm or not, they were helping you. They were helping you learn your lessons. So. So, if you remember, our lives are kind of like a Shakespearean play and everybody has a part to play and they have something to teach you. It makes it easier and you don't get as mad at people as you do when you think that they're out to get you. Because nobody's really out to get you. They're out to help you. They're out to help you be a better person. They're here to help you um, learn your lessons. They help you, they're, help, they're here to help you stand up for yourself and to take care of yourself because you're meant to remember that you are very important and you are meant to look after yourself first and then you're meant to look after other ones. Now, I'm not talking about children because obviously we know that children are very demanding. Lots of times they can't do anything for themselves because they can't even walk in or talk or whatever. I'm talking about as you as you age and maybe as your children age or as you know your maybe some of you and your siblings um, move apart like just doing your own thing that's okay because you're meant to take care of yourself and regression hypnotherapy is a wonderful way to work with your energy to find out you know, why is this happening to me why does the same thing happen to me why am I attracting the same kind of people in my life why am I so sore? Or why do I have headaches? Or why is my vision bad? I've worked with people on their vision. And they have had lives where they're, um, they were, okay, they might have been tortured or something like that. Is it, and I want to, you to know that when you're having a regression hypnotherapy session, you're not experiencing that again. You're an observer. You're just watching. So it's not like you're going to feel, you know, what happened to you about your eyeballs or whatever, you know, someone like uh, stabbed you with a knife or something. You don't feel that. You actually just are observing it because you're not in that body, right? You're just, it's like you're watching TV if you are visual. And if you're non-visual, you just know what happens. It's just like your mind tells you, okay? You don't feel any of the pain. You don't feel any of the emotions. But what you do feel when you leave that body and that life, you feel release, no more pain, no more emotional upset. All of that is gone because in our energy form, we're free. We don't have any of that negativity, none at all. And it feels wonderful. Some people who've had a regression hypnotherapy session with me didn't want to leave this whole group because it felt so good. They were like, I don't want to come back. Wow, we're meant to come back to our bodies and we're meant to be aware that we're in this body to learn our lessons and you know maybe some of you are having a very difficult life in this life maybe you've had to deal with some very abusive people maybe you have to de deal with some very hard times maybe you have very difficult children that you have to look after or um, you know you have like family fam members who are you know, at war with each other and you're stuck in the middle or you're standing on the outside watching. 
thinking, how can I make this better? And so it will help you make sense of a lot of the things that are going on in your life and that have gone on for a long time because a lot of times we come, some of us come in to help people, but we can only help people if they actually want help. And so I do offer people, you know, hey, this is what I do. I can help you. And if they say no, I respect that because not everybody has success with, say, hypnotherapy. The people who do have success, they have two things, okay? One, they have very curious minds. They just want to know. And two, they actually have trained their brain to slow um, their conscious mind down to about the rate of subconscious. They do that by meditating. So they're, they're used to this because that's exactly what happens in a hypnotherapy session, okay? It slows the mind down like that. So if you're a meditator, hypnotherapy would be very successful for you because you are not always like this. Conscious mind is up here and it's alert and it's like, oh my God, what's going to happen? It's down like this, nice and slow. And it's like, I wonder what happened. I want to see this. So it's, you have this curiosity and you just want to know. And those are the best minds to work with because they want to do the work. They want to know. And they can do this. Slow it down. So that is past life regression hypnotherapy. I absolutely love the sessions that I give and I really really hope that you give it a try if you haven't already. One thing I do make clear is that yes you can release things in past life regression hypnotherapy and it will help you change what how you're doing in your current life. And another like something else I want to make very clear is that you actually have to make some Say you want to release weight and you see the lives that caused that weight gain and those and you know maybe it was you had a poor diet or um, I had a lady who wanted to know why she was diabetic. She had a life where she all she did was eat candy and she ate that until the day she died and she died at a very young age. So she brought in that problem with sugar, blood sugar, insulin into her current life and so it took a very regimented diet because she was meant to learn how to treat her body with respect and not as a dumping ground so there are lessons that we are meant to learn and we actually have to do something physical about it I've always had a weight problem or I thought I did and I found when I changed my diet to a, a strict vegan diet that I had no more inflammation and no more weight problems and it is it takes a very conscious effort to do that but it's important enough to me because I didn't want to be overweight anymore and I also didn't want to have um, inflammation so I I saw some lives where I had them large and I ate a lot of donuts love donuts to this day do I eat them all the time no because I still love them I just know they're not very good <laughs> they're not very good for me so thank you so much for watching this uh, video about the mind and specifically past life regression hypnotherapy session. My next episode will be about the body.